Hey there, Thomas Esquire, Gentleman of Leisure. Welcome to Street Credibility and You. Now today we're gonna to explore the world of street credibility, how you can accumulate it and how you can make it work for you. Have you ever wondered what street credibility is and how you can accumulate it? Well, you know what, first we should define street credibility. Street credibility is the cultural and ethic believability of a statement, action, or source, and the ability of the observer to believe the above. Now, you can accumulate it by place of birth, taking one for the team, place of residence, purchasing item in your mother's name, fraudulently obtaining credit through your children's name, criminal record slash jacket, disinterest in literacy, illegitimate offspring, acts of violence, money scheme, general thuggery, hustling, and or grinding. Your street cred is calculated by a system called FACO, or Fair Allidocious Company. For those of you familiar with the FICO, or the Fair Isaac system, the scale is the same, 300 to 880. And you may ask yourself, what can my FACO score do for me? Now your FACO score gives you a wide access to a world few people know, outside of inner city urban America with its own laws, customs, and currency. You can trade on street cred to boost your record sales, increase interracial jump off interest, decrease waiting in line at establishments such as the barbershop and or liquor store, and receive complimentary items all over town. It's important to understand what can lower your FACO score. Now there are several actions and or offenses that will adversely affect your score by varying degrees. Backing down from a fight or other challenges to a manhood, snitching, mental instability or general craziness, performing or listening to any form of musical theater with the exception of the whiz, snitching, drinking sissified drinks, smoking non-menthol cigarettes, lack of bling, a jacked ride, small rims, snitching, fraternizing with credentialed professionals like teachers, members of law enforcement, taxpayers, voters or white people who are not music executive slash attorneys. Snitching, being in a long-term contract with your cell phone provider, unfamiliarity with payday advance services, have a bank or any type of investment account, snitching, not taking one for the team, having a high school diploma, playing any sport other than track, football, or basketball, all other sports such as fencing, lacrosse, hockey, cricket, tennis, golf, swimming, and crew are strictly off limits. And most important, absolutely no snitching. For any reason, under any circumstances at all, it can cost you more than just your faculty score. Now you may be saying to yourself, I'm not one of the privileged individuals lucky enough to be born into America's bountiful ghettos, teeming with rich textured culture and brimming with opportunities, but you still want a high FACO score. Well, even an outsider can heighten his or her score. Now many celebrities have successfully increased their FACO score by putting their fellow celebs on blast, like JT with Britney, or joining the black church in times of crisis like Robert Blake, being shot multiple times like 50 Cent of the Game, being involved with pit bull breeding, dog fighting, or other forms of animal cruelty for profit, i.e. Michael Vick, being Hugh Hefner or Robert Downey Jr., making a sex video with a C-list black star, Kim Kardashian, scoop, or assaulting a member of law enforcement like Zaza Gabor, who actually has mad street cred due to a philandering husband who copped to being the baby daddy of some other woman's child. You, the average Joe, can obtain street cred in a variety of ways, including showing you ain't never scared, getting your hustle on, calling shots like a boss, becoming a baby mama or daddy, being shot and or stabbed, braving your friendly county hospital, learning your quotables from such essential urban classics as Boys in the Hood, Coming to America, any of the Friday or Barbershop series, Menace to Society, New Jack City, and or Scarface, drinking malt liquor, brands like Crazy Horse and Mickey's, wearing crisp white tees or kicks that stay white. So now that you know how to acquire and use street cred, put your faculty score to work for you. But please, use responsibly.